Hi Gratefuls! Welcome back sa Charlene's TV! And ang topic natin ngayon ay marami talaga nagre-request. How to use bin and being. Ano nga bang pinagkaiba nitong dalawang salita na to? So if you wanna learn more about that, stay tuned! Alright, first one, we have the word been. So, in my past videos, Gratefuls, I have discussed that we will use the word been with the word has, like has been, have, have been, and had, had been. So, this word is used to show that something has happened in the past but continues to happen in the present. So, pinapakita nito na meron ng nangyari sa nakaraan at patuloy na nangyayari hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Example, Jamaica has been studying Spanish since 2019. So, meron tayong bin na ginamit dito na ipinapakita na yung pag-aaral ni Jamaica ng Spanish ay nangyari sa past, pero nagpapatuloy dito sa present. So, simula 2019 hanggang ngayon ay nag-aaral si Jamaica ng Espanyol. Okay? Now, makikita natin na ang ginamit din natin na helping verb dito ay yung has kasi isa lang yung pinag-uusapan. Si Jamaica lang. Now, papano kung dalawa na yung subjects natin? Jamaica and Rain Blank been studying Spanish since 2019. Dahil nga merong bin ay pinakita na nag-start itong action ng pag-aaral nila ng Spanish noong 2019 pa at nagpapatuloy hanggang sa ngayon. So, anong gagamitin natin na helping verb? Has or have? Of course, we will use have because we have plural subject. Dalawa na to si Jamaica at saka si Rain. Dalawa na sila kaya have. Pag isa lang, has. Okay, and then second usage of the word been, we can use it to ask question. So, kung tatanungin natin yung isang tao kung saan ka galing, pwede natin gamitin yung where have you been. Diba? Saan ka galing? Kasi itong been na to, nagpapakita na mayroong recent lang na pinanggalingan, may recent lang na pangyayari. Hindi pa gaano katagal yung lumipas na panahon. Okay? Okay, third usage of the word been is to show hypothetical situations. So, pwede natin gamitin ito para makapagpakita ng mga sitwasyon na pwede sanang mangyari, pero hindi nangyari. Tingnan natin tong samples na to. They could have been great partners if they just tried. So, could have been, pinapakita na pwede sanang mangyari, pero hindi nangyari. Kasi nga, di ba, hypothetical situations, ibig sabihin na sa isip lang or inaasahan lang, pero hindi nangyari sa totoong buhay. Next example, it would have been a great party if all of our classmates were invited. So parang ang saya sana nitong party na to kung lahat lang ng mga kaklase natin ay imbitado. So maybe hindi 100% na masaya yung party kasi hindi naman imbitado yung lahat. So we have used the word been, itong would have been, to show na ito ay isang hypothetical situation lang hindi nangyari sa totoong buhay. Parang inaasam-asam lang nung nagsabi ng pangungusap na to. Okay, so yan yung tatlong iba't ibang gamit ng word na bin. Let's proceed to the next word. We have being. So being, first one, it is a noun. It means it is an existence or a presence of something. So when we use the word being, it parang entity, parang soul, spirit, presence, existence. Okay, example, many social acts were brought into being during this pandemic. So itong pagkakagamit na natin ng word na being na to is nagpapakita na nag-exist. Nag diba? Ibig sabihin nga na kasi ng being ay existence. So, madaming social acts, mga kawang gawa ang na isa katuparan nangyari ngayong pandemic. Next example, kunwari sabi ng psychic, I can sense another being in this room. So, para nakakaramdam ako ng iba pang presensya or ibang entity, ibang espiritu dito sa kwarto na to. ba? So, being. Okay, second one, we use the word being as the present participle of the verb be. So, pwede natin gamitin ito sa sample sentence natin. Being a teacher... I always bring pen wherever I go. So, dahil ako isang teacher, nagdadala ako ng pen kahit saan man ako pumunta. Being. Yung parang being ko, yung estado ko bilang isang teacher. 
Next example, being the speaker this afternoon, I decided to start my talk with a Zumba dance. So, being the speaker, ibig sabihin yung katayuan ko bilang speaker ngayong hapon. Diba? So, yun ay yung aking presence at yung existence bilang speaker. Being bilang. Alright? Okay, tingnan pa natin itong mga sample sentence na to. Stop being ridiculous. O kaya naman is, I'm being scared right now. So, mapapansin po ninyo na dito sa mga pinagamitan natin ng word na being is nandito tayo sa present. Diba? Ngayon, nag exist yung emotion. Kailan ka uh, ridiculous? Ngayon. Kailan ka natatakot? Kailan ka scared? Ngayon. Kailan ka teacher? Ngayon din. So, itong being ginagamit natin to talk about the things that exist and happens right now. Being. Okay? Ayan, grateful. So, I hope na meron kang natutuhan dito sa dalawang words na diniscuss natin. Being and being. At para ma-check ko kung meron ba talaga, let's have a short quiz. It's gonna be 1 to 5. Pwede mong i-pause kung kailangan mo ng extra time. At huwag kang mahiya na gamitin yung comment box para i-type mo doon yung mga sagot mo, alright? Number one, I am just blank realistic. Being or being? I am just blank realistic. The correct answer is being. Number two, we can do this. We have blanked this through before. We can do this. We have blanked this through before. Been or being. The correct answer is been. Number three. Have you blanked in Cebu? Have you blanked in Cebu? The correct answer is been. And number four, she's blank my best friend since college. She's blank my best friend since college. The correct answer is been. And number five, blank the president of this organization. I will allow the new members to join the summer outing. I will repeat, blank, the president of this organization. I will allow the new members to join the summer outing. Been or being? The correct answer is being. Ayan, thank you grateful sa pagsama sa akin hanggang dito sa part ng video na to. Na-appreciate ko talaga yan. And kung gusto mo ng mga uh, short questions with answers about English grammar, pwede mong bisitahin yung ating TikTok account, Charlene's TV. Hanapin mo lang yan. Konti pa lang yung videos. Pero kung maram magugustuhan ninyo, gagawa din po ako ng short videos doon. And see you! Pili ka kung anong video gusto mo. Bye-bye!